So we have with us uh, Sudhir Chenani, one of uh, and one of our investors from the United States, uh, who is doing a lot of investment in the VC and angel space in US, and now looking at the Indian ecosystem. Uh, welcome, Sudhir, to Startup. Nice How to be here. How has your experience been in Startup so far? Well, really, you know, it's been exciting, ups and downs. Okay. I've had some ventures that haven't succeeded. Okay. Overwhelmingly, I think we've succeeded with uh, uh, our ventures over a 25-year period. Okay. So, as far as uh, the startup ecosystem is concerned, I mean, you have been doing a lot of investments there, and now you're looking at Indian companies to invest in. What gets you to India? Uh, is there a, a big a vision in play when it comes to India for you? Uh, you know, India really is the last major untapped frontier in the world. Indeed. When you, can you consider the Western markets are saturated, mm -hmm. China has already achieved uh, startup stardom, and in India it's just beginning, Indeed. where we're at the infancy. Mm -hmm. So I feel that someone in my position that understands India market space is well positioned to sure. be the bridge mm -hmm. between the United States and India, where I think the synergies are, are extreme. Sure. I would say that if we come up with good startups in these sectors, we are very open to investing. Okay. Uh, but that having been said, I don't think you can build pure play startups in India that can address world markets in the present paradigm. And I what think is you that? Really Present is a little bit still too isolated here. Okay. I so think what, you need what to, does it take? Well, I think you need to have innovation incubation centers. Okay. That are India based and they have a US base. Mm -hmm. So that at the startup stage itself, the Indian company already has a US office in Silicon Valley. Mm -hmm. So I think Indian startups should really look at from the very beginning, build business models that can address a product or a service or some, whatever the deliverable is, whatever the right. USP is, that USP should be able to stand up the test of the global market. Sure. And if you can do that from the start, then you can build successful companies like they've done in China. Alibaba, Tencent, Baidu, I mean the list is and Renren. I mean you can count hundreds of companies. The sure. first thing you need to do is allow them to invest in startups tax-free. The corporates. Corporates. Okay. Because corporates, you know, first and foremost you have very high cost of capital. Bank credit in India is one of the most expensive in the world. You have 2% inflation, but 14% borrowing cost. Nowhere in the planet Earth is there such a spread. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that uh, you have to lower the cost of doing business. Sure. And one of the things you can do to get corporate involvement would be to tell companies, look, if you're a company and you're putting money in a startup, you can write off, you can deduct that as an expense. Mm -hmm. You can depreciate that in year one. You can depreciate equipment and machinery. Why don't you let the investment in startups be a depreciable asset? Take the depreciation in year one, or 80% of it in year one. Every company in India will set up a venture division, a venture arm. Every company, I guarantee, within 12 months, every major cow corporate in India, because now there's a clear-cut incentive to do it.